especially tailored for the telethon because for every correct answer I receive, I will personally give £1,000 to the telethon. <laughs> Thank you, sir, very much. Right, well, uh, first off, would you give a big welcome, please, for Kevin. How are you, Kevin? Well, well, I'm, not, I'm not too clever, actually, Mike. I've got a suspected Jodine also. Well, it's good Robert, to hear you well. Anyway, OK, Kevin, uh, here's Dionne Warwick for £1,000. Can you tell me where she's on her way to? Do you know the way to San... Jose. San Jose. San Jose, OK. Do you know the way to San Francisco? <laughs> Very bad luck. The S and the O were right, but just not quite what we were looking for. Off you go. OK, Simon, then. Uh, your chance to get me to donate a thousand pounds to the telethon. Tell me, are you wearing steel cap boots? No. That's good, because you'll kick yourself when you get this wrong. <laughs> now, uh, Simon, for one thousand pounds, can you tell me what Peter, Paul and Mary are leaving on? I'm leaving on a... Jet plane. A jet plane. OK, let's just uh, see if I'm you're right. leaving on a... Very bad luck indeed. And Sarah, our final contestant here. Ooh, okay, tell me, Sarah, is there anyone you'd like to say hello to? Emma. Yeah, okay. that's great. I'm sure you've got a phone. You can ring them up when you get home. Okay. <laughs> right, Sarah, your last chance to win a thousand pounds for the telethon. Can you tell me which great hit of the 1960s began like this? <laughs> oh, dear, I'm afraid that's all there is at the intro to that particular song. Uh, do you want to hear it again? I get around by the Beach Boys. I get around by the Beach Boys. Let's just see, shall we? Round, round, giddy, round. Uh, bugger, yes, you better be right. Um, so that means that I have to give you the supplementary part to that question. So, Sarah, for the thousand pounds which I'm going to give to the telethon, can you tell me which other great hit of the 1960s began like this? Do you want to hear it again? <laughs> oh, dear, very bad luck, I'm afraid, because there is absolutely no intro at all to this other great 60s hit, so... Beatles, Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Beatles Yellow Submarine. Let's just see, shall we? In the time. Oh, so close. So close. It was, in fact, the Beatles and Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Very bad luck. So the winner is me. I get the thousand pounds. But, Sarah, you get to get off the set, please, because we have to get on with raising money for the telethon. <laughs> I'm here waiting for American Chuck Mace, who's in the lead, so that I can steal a word with him. And I think he should be coming round the corner in just a second. Oh, Chuck! Chuck! Well, uh, it's very nearly time to sign off to BBC viewers, but let's have one final attempt to see if we can talk to Phil Longman down there in Birmingham. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter what we say here in Birmingham because every time you come to us, you don't seem to get any sound. So let me just say, Mike, that the whole telethon has looked like a complete bull's up and that you yourself are a complete cabbage. So, up yours, Mike. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> yes, what a pity we couldn't hear from Phil earlier. Well, uh, let's just say a final farewell to our other people uh, out there in the four corners of the country. And let's uh, go over to St. Luke's, where so much of today's money is going. As you can see, the happy staff there, and the wall filling up nicely with casualties from this year's telethon. Perhaps you could all uh, give us a final wave. <laughs> Super, great. So let's just have a look at that final total. From nothing, we seem to have jumped to 85 and a half million in just over six minutes, which uh, either indicates overwhelming generosity on your part or staggering faulty wiring on ours. And personally, I'd go for the latter. <laughs> Quite the amount by my company. And which company is that? Well, I really don't think I should advertise. Well, don't worry. No, no, no. No, 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 no. But it's all right. No, no, I really shouldn't. No. Well, everyone else has. Okay then, all G phone lines on 0898 654 0 They are hot and sticky! <laughs>
800 years ago, Europe... I was actually party to a miracle a couple of years back. I was doing a little bit of fishing down by the south bank of the Thames, and I'd caught a few fish, and I had some loaves of bread with me as well. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, 5,000 people came round the corner, you know, looking very tired, very dishevelled, and they looked desperately in need of my help. But they weren't. They were Millwall fans, and six of them kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> the miracle is, Millwall won 2-0 then. Uh, one more. All right, go on. One more. <laughs> Remember all now. You're on a roll now. No, no stopping now. I think a true miracle would be overhearing a French farmer or fisherman saying, well, you've got to look at it from their point of view, don't you? <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Pamela. Thank you for your question. So we have time for, sadly, but to end by way of saying goodbye, I asked the panel to tell us one fact each that is palpably untrue. Joe. Uh, the Maastricht Treaty is a thumping good read. <laughs> My eyes were glued to the TV. <laughs> Morale here at the BBC has never been higher. As a youngster, I idolised Tony Blackburn. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pablo. Thanks for me. Good night. classic portrait of teenage alienation. Later, a cult classic. Keith Moon as a nun, Ringo Starr as Frank Zappa, and Frank Zappa as Frank Zappa. James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause at 10.35, and Frank Zappa's 200 motels at 25 past midnight. Movie Drone, Sunday on BBC Two. And BBC Two tonight goes in search of the man, the myth and the moustache that is Frank Zappa in an exclusive Late Show interview followed by a compilation of rare performance footage with his band Mothers of Invention. That's in 50 minutes. Are all dishwasher powders the same? No. This disclosing fluid shows the food conventional powders can leave behind. But Fairy cleans cleaner than the eye can see. Punjab Airways, Punjab Airways. Punjab Airways' entire fleet now flies daily to one destination worldwide. Luxuriate in sumptuous Maharaja class. Enjoy authentic spiced delicacies. Until you arrive relaxed in the cultural center of Europe. Phyllis Farm, authentic Punjab puri, made in Medemsley Road concert. It's uniquely refreshing. It's naturally clear.